this is the Gold Cube. This is a uh, super concentrator machine that what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our material down through an eighth of an inch classifier. Everything that's an eighth of an inch or smaller is what goes through the Gold Cube. We're going to grab all the gold that is an eighth of an inch all the way down to so small you can't hardly see it. Now this material that we've got here has all been classified to an eighth of an inch. Now 90% of the gold on earth is about that size. And that's really all we want is 90% of all the gold on earth. <laughs> now we feed the gold cube, we can feed it at a rate of a thousand pounds an hour. So a thousand pounds an hour, once it goes away, you can just you can just be ready, you're uh, ready for another batch and away it goes. Now when we're ready to do a cleanup, when we're ready to do the cleanup, most of our gold is going to be in this very first train. Over 90% of our gold is going to be right here and it gets less and less. This tray right here is the very first separator tray. The next tray down, so that's like $2,000 worth of gold. So most of your gold is going to get caught there. The next tray down, there's only $10 worth of gold. And then the next tray down, there's only 50 cents worth of gold. So you can see that most of our gold is going to be at this area right here. And then we got less and less. When we clean up out in the field, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this very first tray, the separator tray, and leave the rest of the other ones alone because all of our gold is going to be right here anyway. When we clean up out in the field, we're going to take another tub and a tray and all of our gold is going to be in this area right here. We're going to take the hose, we're going to take the hose off and use it as a sprayer just to spray all the gold out of the mat and into a tub and then we can pan out from the tub. Now when we do the uh, when we do the cleanup today, is all we're gonna do is we're just gonna rinse the gold out. Okay, now when, when we've added material through here, the gold could have floated from here to here, but as soon as we went down to the G4 separator, it rips all that gold away from surface tension and leaves it laying into the mat. Now we're gonna shut this thing off, and when we look inside, we're gonna see where that gold is laying out. Okay, see all that gold laying out into this area right here? We can also see that there's gold sitting up on the on that edge. Looking at that gold on that edge right there, it hasn't even made it to the mat yet. Okay, you can see all that gold? Now watch what happens. In a normal sluice situation, when you stop the water, what happens to the gold when you turn the water back on? You're gonna start losing your gold. You're gonna start blowing the gold away, right? All right, in this situation, even if I mess with the water a little bit, when we look at our gold again, all that gold's still going to be sitting there. Look at that gold is still sitting on the edge, still hasn't made it to the mat yet. We've made a very happy place for the gold to sit. We put it there on purpose. We don't want to leave it to chance. We want to purposely take our gold home with us. All right, well, let's, do a, let's do a quick cleanup. We're going to go through this material here. Normally out in the field, we would take this material We would take this material and we would wash it with this hose over top of the tub. But instead of doing that today, what we're going to do is we're just going to dump it out into the gold pan. So we're going to take the uh, gold pan and the scoop. And we're just going to kind of dump it out. Okay, we've, we've uh, taken care of that first two or three inches of that very first mat. So all the gold that we've got in our cleanup so far is just that much material. Okay, you can see there's not a whole lot of material that's got all of our gold in it. Now when we're getting ready to pan this out, a lot of times what people will do when they're panning is they'll make the water go round and round in circles. They'll make this, it'll go round and round and see how it just blasts everything out of there. We don't want that to happen. What we want to happen is like what happens on the waves on a beach. We're going to go back and forth on it and see how it just laps across the top and just calmly pulls that material off. Well, that's going to take a long time if I keep doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a liquid effect on this stuff. Get it moving with a tap. 
So when we get this moving with a tap and doing the wave, I call that rub your belly, pat your head technique, we get it all moving at the same time, we're gonna be able to get to the gold a lot faster. So we're gonna go back and forth as well as tap. See that gold showing up at the top? All right, so that's, instead of using a lot of, lot of time, a lot of minutes, we actually use some seconds. All right, so this is the goal that we're, we're going after. Now, one of the problems that most uh, machines will have is with gold that floats. Now, some people say, well, how does gold float? It's supposed to be heavy. Well, it doesn't really float. It gets stuck to the surface tension of the water. If, you, if you've got um, oil on the top of your water, it's going to be able to grab a hold of your gold and make it float. You see that gold floating there? Okay, that's the gold that you never knew you had. On a sluice box or something like that, that's already heading down the river. That's the gold you lost already with a gold cube because we're taking that gold and, and ripping it all underneath the water. When it goes underneath the water, it stays in your machine so you get to take it home. So you're already making more money with gold with this machine just for the mere fact that you're not floating it away.